Everything starts with our mission statement. You know, one pack, one goal, which is a united mission to win a championship. And we talk about that and that there is no team of individuals that wins a championship. When you look at a good team, there's a lot of pieces to it. And so how you handle your individual role on the team is, is really goal number one. And what we talk about with each guy is what is his best and how can we get him there and how do you go about that? It's having a process to reach the end. We don't focus on the end goal once we dive, uh, dive into it, focus on the daily goal. And we call it a one more. So what is your one thing that you have to get done that day to be better than you were the day before? With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. Discover how your electric cooperative can help you control your energy use at EmpowerMeNC.com. Hurry, it's the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event. I'll jump out and guide you back. Easy, son. This is going to blow your mind. Whoa. Awesome. That is really cool. Take on Summer Right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. It's our best offer of the year on F-150. Get 0% for 72 months plus an additional 1000 on top of your trade-in. Now get F-150 with 0 for 72 plus 1000 on top of your trade-in. Hurry, the Ford Summer Sales Event ends September 5th. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. There's something out there driving you, calling you, pulling you in closer and closer. And once you find it, it stops all over again. Where will your curiosity take you? pack one goal is. All right? For those of you guys that have been here since it started, it's a united mission to win a championship. And when I tell you it's united, all right, when it's not, you don't get there. So we'll talk uh, big picture, obviously. So it's daily improvement that leads you to weekly improvement, which leads you to monthly improvement, and then your season. Not everybody in here is going to be best friends, but you are family. You have to put aside your differences in this building, whatever they are, if you have one, and understand that ego is the enemy. The man sitting to your right, to your left, and behind you, the coaches that are in here with you, this is what matters. And everything that you do, even when it hurts, even when you don't get it, is for the man next to you, the man behind you, the man in front of you, the man to your right. We won't talk about the season until fall camp is over. We had summer goals for them. 
things that they needed to be able to achieve to increase where they were coming out of spring ball, where they want to be going into fall camp. Once you get to fall camp, all right, you go back, did you get there? And now that you're there, what are we going to try to show on the field during fall camp? Who sings it? I don't know. Come on, you don't know the boss? The boss? Bruce Springsteen? Oh, that's Bruce Springsteen, okay. Last one was the Eagles, I got that one. Come on, man. You can't even call yourself an American if you don't know who the boss is. Come on. I'll go, I'll go brush that up on my Springsteen. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful out here, man. I stay at Fall Camp and there's no sunshine. What's up with that? Let's go, old line. Great day to be a lineman, man. The big thing, too, is not just talking about the end. You know, it's how do we get from where we are to where we want to be, the plan in place. And that's setting measurable goals. You know, I think you have to be able to measure. If we want to be top three in the league in scoring offense, for example, or top three in the league in special teams, then it's going into that week and saying, all right, well, we've got to score this many points in this game to reach our goal. And, and it's always one more point than they score, right? Eyes up. Eyes up, pick your feet up. That's it, Matt. That's it. Good. Now two feet in. Now two feet in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two feet in. We start trying to do things one thing at a time. Uh, and right now we're in our fall camp goals. Our fall camp goals were develop mental and physical toughness. And the second phase was execution. And that was the, the singular focus of fall camp is to make sure our guys were more mentally tough than we were last year. We had too many penalties in, in key situations. And obviously the only way to get tough is to put yourself in those situations and see how you can respond. And so we've tried to challenge our guys as many different ways as we can in fall camp. Um, and then also develop physical toughness. It's a physical game. It's still one in the trenches. Um, the most physical team still wins the game. And so we have to be that physical football team in the trenches. And then the second thing was just out and out clean execution. Um, you know, the, the games that we did not come out the way we wanted to, there was too many plays that you went back and watched that said, this play was, you know, was going to work except we had this penalty or we had this thing that messed up. And, and so we have to clean up those execution. It wasn't about plays. It wasn't about schemes or calls. It was about making sure our guys understood the details and getting those right. All right, you got to make sure you keep your composure and you got to make sure you believe. Does everybody understand that? Make sure you keep your composure and make sure you believe. All right, we're splitting up. We're going RVA and group run. So wide outs right here with the quarterbacks. Group run will be down there. Matt with group run, go. Here we go, here we go. Let's go to work, let's go to work, let's go to work, let's go to work. The two traits that I always look for for a, a player is how tough are they and how much preparation are they willing to put in. Talent gets you there, all right, but it's not enough. You have to have talent and then there's effort. And once you have talent and effort, then you're gonna acquire a skill and that's where you develop into a great player. And um, you know, no doubt we have talented players, but we're now trying to push them to that point of, let's make sure we're tough and let's make sure we're preparing each day. Good eyes, oh, up, ball. Body shot, let's go, body shot. That was hot. Good, body shot right there, let's go. Get them both directions, please. Get them both directions, please. Get them both directions, please. No, no. Go back and do that again. Every rep's a freaking game rep. No, no. Look, step, pitch. Good for track shed. Good. Get to it, get to it, get to it, get to it, get to it. Here we go. Go, go, go. Here we go. I like where we're at, but we got, we're, place, we're going places, right? You understand what I'm saying? I like where we're at. We still gotta go places. We're not to the top of the mountain yet. Okay, we gotta keep climbing. We gotta keep climbing. Everybody understand that? You know, one of our core values is no underachievement allowed, and so now we're gonna push every single day, all gas, no brakes. And that's that's the mindset. You always set attainable goals. And they're high, and they're lofty, and um, they're big. We've always been big dreamers around here, and that's what we're gonna continue to do. This is interesting watching these uh, eight dudes try to move that, two, or seven dudes try to move that. I don't think I need another idea. Thinking brain trust over there. Getting better, man. 
You would have wilted last year today. Yes, sir. Huh? You would have wilted. Appreciate it. We're getting better, man. Find a flight of the ball and then pedal. Good. There you go, Jay. Good. Stay outside, Max. Once we finish fall camp, then we have our season goals that we'll talk about. After we have that discussion, it goes into South Carolina game one. Here's our goals for that game. Here's our game plan. Here's our mission. And this is the plan in place to get us there. And then it's about the execution. But just understand one thing, man. You can't hide in this game. Watch the film. Take ownership in your product. Don't have thin skin. Get better from it. And the next time you're out here, you're going to have another opportunity. That's what we do. It's not personal. But if you want to be a champion, you better be able to take the criticism. You can't hide, man. Can't hide. Bring it up in here. Let's go. Bradbury, you got him. I got one pat. Y'all got one go. One pat. One go. See your coach. The 2017 Nissan Altima. And the new 2017 Nissan Rogue. Cars that could help stop when you don't. Take on the unexpected. Nissan Rogue and Altima with available Intelligent Safety Shield technologies. Get to Nissan, proud partner of NC State Athletics. There's something out there driving you, calling you, pulling you in closer and closer. And once you find it, it starts all over again. Where will your curiosity take you? With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. Discover how your electric cooperative can help you control your energy use at EmpowerMeNC.com. talked about this, things that can keep us from being a great football team. One of them is listening to the media. They've talked about how great you guys are all summer. All right, understand this. You ought to have a chip on each shoulder about what you want to prove. Have we gotten better as a program? Yes. Is our culture better? Yes. But we haven't achieved what we want to achieve here. So understand that, man. When they're telling you that you're good, you need to go prove that you're good. Our expectations and standards are always high. But because we have so many returning players that have played a lot of snaps for us, uh, obviously the expectation, the standards increase. Uh, I thought that the guys you know, played good downs for us last year and we want to build on top of that um, with a lot of front, our defensive linemen back who played very, very well for us last year. Um, our linebackers with more depth this year. I really like the way our guys have worked this fall camp and the expectations are high and they have a good, good feeling uh, about themselves and they understand what we have to do and, and, uh, and, and what we need to do. Good job! Nice job! We take care of our body last night, Riley. Get some fuel in it. Get our weight back up. What about you, Jared? Did you get that weight back up? Uh, we have experienced some heat this, this uh, fall camp, and I think our guys have battled through it. Uh, 
they came into fall camp, fall camp with uh, a tremendous uh, summer session. But there's always those first three or four days where you gotta get into football shape. Now, right? now you're, 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 you're carrying your pads. Uh, uh, it's bodies on bodies, that, that straining of bodies on bodies. So, you know, all the work that you've done in the off season, running, conditioning, and then all of a sudden, football shape is a little bit different than just off season getting in shape. And uh, took the guys a couple of days to get adjusted to that. And I know they're anxious to play that first game. Here we go, here we go. Our friend is here today. Our friend is in camp today, isn't he, Arias? Who's our friend? The Sun. The Sun. He's our opponent's enemy. He's our friend. We embrace him. I love it hot. The hotter, the better. I, I, I like hot weather myself, personally. And, uh, and every day that we can go out and practice and have that have our friend there, that he, I think, just makes us uh, better players and prepares us for that moment of truth when we got to line up on the battlefield and and we've got that heat. Love the heat, baby! Let's go! I love helping young men become the man they want to be in life. And, and I felt like, obviously, we're going to coach who we want to beat every week. That's what every coach does. But also tying in a life's lesson to that so that they could feel the reality of if I have faith, if I persevere, if I'm accountable, how those things made me successful in those games, which then I can go back to when I'm working that job and I have to persevere or I have to have faith in my boss or I have to believe in something or have better focus to get my goal. I've done that already. I know what that means. And those things are going to carry them through life as parents, as, as employees, as bosses, uh, through grad school or med school, or whatever they choose to do post-grad. Stay up. Good job. Help him up. Help him up. Serious. I know you're not, but you just got to get used to that muscle memory, all right? Yeah, that's a good job. Come on, man. Be accountable in there. I feel really good today. I feel really good today. How y'all feel? Great. Really good today? Yes, How you feel, Darren? Great. Really good? Yes, feel really good today. Here we go, get a little bounce. Get a little bounce here with me. Hey, let's uh -huh. go, man. Hey, get a little today, swag man. here with me. Get a little swag here with me. Ha, 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 You're not doing anything. Stand it. We're going to ball today. Yeah, yeah, right. Who loves football? I love football. Yeah. Up, Over the hill! Down the hill! Down the hill! Through the hill! Through the hill! Over the hill! Over the hill! I love! I love! Football! Football! I love! I love! Football! Football! I want to be able to take a group of guys and develop them to be the best men that they can be, to be the best football players that they can be, and uh, to be the best men that they can be beyond uh, their football life, uh, husband, father, uh, and just see the guys, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 61 years old and um, I've, had, I've been blessed with a great coaching career. Uh, worked for a lot of good head coaches, Coach Dorn, uh, and enjoyed it so much. Been around a lot of really good football players and uh, played in championship games, played in bowl games. And uh, what I want to do is, is just give my best to the players to help them have the best experience that they can have as a college football player. And then when their football life is over and it's time to begin their next life's work, um, have them ready to meet those challenges. Ah, you guys are doing a good job. Now let's finish this thing. Let's work hard, y'all got me? All right. It's very important to me, very important to our chancellor, very important to our athletic director and all of our coaches and your parents, because I've met them all, all right? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You guys heard that before? Sure. Learned that from my grandma when I was a little kid. Why would you talk to him that way? You wouldn't want him to talk to you like that. Do unto others what you would not have them do unto you. So don't treat somebody poorly. You don't want them to treat you poorly. 
right? Don't disrespect somebody. Don't pick on somebody. Don't bully somebody. Do unto others that's what you would not want done unto your favorite person. All right? Would you want them to talk to somebody you love that way? Then why would you talk to them that way? And here's the thing about being on a team. If one guy is that way, what is that person's perception of everybody in the room? That's how football players are. There's something out there driving you, calling you, pulling you in closer and closer. And once you find it, it starts all over again. Where will your curiosity take you? The 2017 Nissan Altima. And the new 2017 Nissan Rogue. Cars that could help stop when you don't. Take on the unexpected. Nissan Rogue and Altima with available Intelligent Safety Shield technologies. Get to Nissan, proud partner of NC State Athletics. Go! With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. Discover how your electric cooperative can help you control your energy use at EmpowerMeNC.com. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Bringing real Coke taste with zero sugar and zero calories to Wolfpack fans everywhere. On the Wolfpack Sports Network, live from Backyard Bistro, this is the Dave Doran Radio Show. Now, here's your host, Tony Haynes. This all started 125 years ago, this being NC State football, state's first game, North Carolina College of Agriculture and Mechanics Arts, that was NC State back then, beat Raleigh Mail Academy 12-6. to And it was one game that season. That was it. They played a one-game season. So I guess they won the national championship because they won their one game, right? Nobody on the football team did a better <laughs> job of transforming his body for preseason camp than the head coach himself, Dave Dorn. Hey, how about that? He is lean and that mean and slender and swell. Are you at your uh, playing weight right now? No, I was a lot heavier when I played. Oh, okay. But <laughs> That's something to be said for that. My goal was to get back to the weight I started as as a head coach seven years ago, and so I'm back to that weight. So that's good. That's where I needed to be to have my energy the way I wanted it. You know, it's kind of funny. You eat all the bread you can eat and drink all the beer you can drink, and then that's what happens. <laughs> You just cut that out. And no, yeah, go ahead. See if it works for you, Mark. Yeah, it's well. It's a really man. good diet. Tonight we've got uh, three special players, running back Brady Bodine, corner Nicholas Lacey, and wide receiver Gavin Locklear. And these three guys, I said they're special, they're unique, because all three of them came on board and joined the NC State football program as walk-ons. But they are walk-ons no more. So did you have an inkling that it was going to happen? Um, just throughout... I guess three years I've been here, I've kind of seen guys get on scholarship and Gavin and Nick and just guys that work hard and get some playing time. So I thought I had a chance. Um, I didn't know for sure I was going to be put on, but I had a good feeling that it was could be me. Um, there's no other feeling like it. I'm, I mean, that's my that's my f second family, the football team. Um, it's just crazy how those guys just 
you know, love and support me in the same way that my family does. And just you see it in that video when they all come and just are yelling, hooting, and hollering, and just kind of hitting me on the head and stuff like that. And it's just it's it's a great experience and it's great to have with your teammates you you've uh, been around for a long time. Great players have have pushed through some form of adversity in their life. Something that could have easily caused somebody else to crumble, they didn't crumble. And you know a lot of. A lot of people can always make excuses, and it only sounds good to that person making excuses, but great players have always pushed through. Um, they've faced adversity, and they've overcome it. I actually had a compound fracture, open fracture in my right leg, so I uh, snapped both bones, and uh, the bone actually came out of the skin. Uh, it was during the summer a few years ago, and there was days where I was down on myself. There was days where, you know, I just... I just wanted to be out there, but I knew from my circumstances that I couldn't be, and it was just going to be, it was going to take time. But I knew that if I just came in, and just like I did when I first got here, I put my head down, I went to work, I attacked my treatment, my rehab, and uh, just stayed focused on the things that could get me back onto the field. What are you doing, okay, as uh, that suffering in silence that you're doing on your own, that, that overtime, that extra work? outside of the time that you get with your position coaches, outside the time that you get with the strength staff. Coming in and walk, taking extra time watching film, studying your opponent, uh, looking for tips and tendencies. To me, that's what the great ones do. They're always working, they're that gym rat. Right? Always doing that extra, working that, that, that extra to make themselves better. I actually was gonna go to Air Force and I have asthma and um, it's called a trigger so I had to I had the scholarship at first, but when they found out about the asthma, they actually pulled it. So I was kind of late and didn't really know what I was going to do. And Coach Thorne and his staff just gave me an opportunity, and I know I wanted to be part of something bigger than myself. Mm -hmm. um, and that was one of the biggest um, factors in coming here. And not even knowing when I got here, like Brady said, we're, we're a family. So um, like when I got here, that's the, the biggest thing I felt. I'm a huge family guy. And, and when I'm with my teammates, when I'm with the coaches, that's what it feels like. It feels like family. He ain't no just regular soldier in the game, okay? He's a warrior. Everybody hear what I'm saying? And when he comes to practice, there's nobody in this room that outworks this dude right here. Nobody, okay? And I'll, and I'll put money on that. Nobody outworks this dude. The other thing Nick Lacey does is he makes a big, big time sacrifice to be a student athlete here at NC State. And the reason I say that is because he does it with his own money. But you know what? He ain't got to do it with his own money. I mean, when you get to give somebody something that they've earned, uh, that everyone in the room respects them for, and it's life-changing, you know, financially for their families, it's a great feeling. And not every day you get to do something for somebody that's truly earned it, you know, especially in today's society. I think so many people just expect you to give them things. And these guys have earned it, and uh, they've done it in front of over 100 peers and, you know, 10 coaches and strength staffs. and. So for them, you know, and I know it's a box they wanted to check, but it's something they're going to have for their whole life. So they'll always be able to say that they earned that.